What is going on, YouTube? It's been a long time. Anthony from Deez Lutz. Checking back in. Uh, since we last spoke, it was probably many months ago at this point, I really started to dive into learning After Effects and learning how to do simple, you know, things that look like this. Wow. I'm so creative. It hurts. Uh, Steven Spielberg, call me up. Anyway, so... As I start to learn how to use After Effects, I, I started to think, well, I have all these LUTs I've purchased in the past. Can I add these LUTs to After Effects? Is it the same as Premiere? Is it a little different? I don't know. It actually is a little different. What I found out is you don't store the LUTs over here on this side traditionally like we do with Premiere. What you do is I'll show you. Keep your LUTs. Say you have it on your desktop uh, right about here. There, LUTs. Okay, so once you have your LUTs, say on your desktop or where you have it stored, you have to go, uh, make sure you're on your base layer in After Effects, and go into Effect, Utility, Apply Color LUT, and this will open up, say, your desktop, so you can find that LUT, that, the LUT package we just saw, and just click on the LUT and hit Open. And you can see, voila, voila, the LUT has been applied. So it's a little bit of a cumbersome type of... Uh, LUT adding scenario, but this is how you do it. I'll show you again. Effect, utility, apply LUT color. Uh, let's go pick M31, M31, Omaha. And just click apply. And then just like that, let it, let it uh, this is how After Effect works. Uh, it renders itself out the first, see the green line down here? Once we get that straight green line going, we'll be perfectly rendered through the next cycle. So watch. Oh, so there it is guys if you need uh, to know how if you needed to know how to do that then I hope this video was very helpful but I, I did want to share some uh, updates with you guys out there Anthony Grillo these Lutz have a great day everybody and we'll talk again soon thank you